comment was from Patrick Brinkman. Do you know why people don't pay for your classes? I took your free course and it was the same information I heard before or information I had already researched before and it doesn't help. I don't want to pay for information that doesn't help or I've heard before. Research on free financial information networking or anything else. Suppose you can give me a free tip that I've not heard or I've not researched before, then I will sign up with no problem. That right there was an absolute lie. I'm gonna explain that in a minute. Starting a YouTube channel that takes years to build or transferring to a new career to take years to learn is not feasible. I need something that helps me out now while everyone else is sleeping or too busy partying because of this summer. My response, LOL player, a lot of people pay for my courses. Your issues that you're looking for something cheap, fast, and effective. Starting a YouTube channel that takes years to build is not feasible. Your current plan is not feasible. Waiting on America is like waiting to win the lottery. Good luck with your plan. Then um, there was uh, a response. Let's see. Go back to uh, the recession is on my doorstep. I feel it now. And so the recession isn't here yet. I'm in the world of pain. <sighs> okay. And here I, you know, I don't know where this will be, but I've outlined that, you know, with my courses, I've got the people who get the free book and I'm going to talk about why I'm not doing anything free. And then I have 2,500 students who have paid. So people are buying my courses. That's a fact. But let's go ahead and talk about broke and desperate. All right, there are a lot of broke and desperate people out there. And let me explain why I don't do a lot of free stuff anymore. 2016, I gave away 19 free business courses. And my assumption was, you know, I was listening to Gary Vee at the time, it's like help, you know, just give and give and give and give and give and give and help people out. And I did this and I did it for six months. And one of the things that now I've got data, I've got hardcore data to back me up that 96% of the people who signed up for those 19 free business courses did absolutely nothing with them. So you, you will hear, uh, there's a youth, there's a girl on YouTube. She's like, Hey, I'm doing this. I'm putting all this information for free. And lately, you know, she had to do an Instagram because she was getting a lot of static because here's the thing. When you put stuff out for free, you are waving a flag to the broken desperate. You're waving a flag to a group of people that you cannot make money off of. Why? Because they're broke and they're desperate. And I realized this because I have a video on this channel, how to start a business with no money. The video did really well. This video drew the broke and desperate. So let's go ahead and examine why are these people broke and desperate? First of all, going back to what I was reading, I need something that works now. I don't have time to build a YouTube channel. I don't have time to transfer to a new career. All right, let me go ahead and explain something to you. Going back to one of my neighbors, Miss Sally Mae Jones. Um, she used to say this, if you live long enough, you're going to get old. So, if you live long enough, that one, two, three, four, five year time period, it's going to pass. It's going to come and go. And like right now, I'm in the process of working on my 10 year plan. 
10 years. But I know from experience that if I don't start now, like recently, well, not recently, a few years ago, I lost a lot of weight. And I had to start in October to realize the weight loss in February and March. So this mindset that dominates the broken desperate is I got to make it really, really quickly. These people do not have the prerogative to work on something without immediate gratification. This is their weakness. This is the thing that keeps them where they are in life year after year after year. I've mentioned it before. I have a friend who has a son that's coming out of Georgia Tech next year and he's gonna get into a $150,000 a year job. But he's been in college for four years, not making any money, but he was preparing to make money. So the, the broke and the desperate, um, once again, I, this week, well, this morning, I spent some time doing some forensic analysis of someone who is 20 years old, claimed to become a, be, be a multimillionaire. And she was broke at 18. So she created a business that not only put $8 million in her pocket, but multiple million dollars in her pocket in 18 months. And she has a TikTok channel, she has a YouTube channel, and she has an Instagram. And all I see are these flags that are being waved at the broken desperate. All I see, because I did not see, because here's the thing, anyone that's telling you that they have a million dollars net worth, this is something that you should be able to easily prove. You should show, you know, your house, your cars, your bank account. These are things that you, but nowhere on her YouTube channel, nowhere on her Instagram or any receipts, none. But once again, I did find out that she has a website and she's selling something. And that's where I feel that she makes the majority of her money. She doesn't make her money from trading. She makes her money from selling a product, which I advocate, which, I, which I'm cool with, but I'm not cool with the lying. I don't believe this girl is a multimillionaire. I do believe she's making six figures per month because she has a product, she has a website that's selling in a very hot niche. But once again, <clears throat> red flags and her, her price points are for the broken desperate. You know, she's not charging a lot for these services. And I have seen this because going back from when I did that video, how to start a business with no money, I noticed that the complexion of my channel changed. See, one of the reasons that I'm not giving away anything free is I don't want to wave these, these flags to the broken desperate because that is one of the most problematic audiences on YouTube because just like this new Patrick Brinkman who's looking for something now, like those commercials with J.G. Wentworth, I want my money now. I want my money now, all right? Um, if you target, like, once again, this, this is messaging. When you have messaging that appeals to the broke and desperate, that's what you're going to get, the, the broken and the desperate. And like, you know, shout out to Richard Fain. Richard Fain has consistently put out the messaging, invest in the stock market, but you're going to spend many years investing in the stock market before you can reach your payday. This is something that's a constant theme throughout his videos. And he attracts more reasonable, more um, mature. Because if you feel that you, unprepared, unseasoned, with no skill sets, are gonna go from being a hot mess to a millionaire in a year or two 
you, 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 you crazy. You're unrealistic. You're crazy. But there's a whole bunch of folks out there. And once again, God. I have a relationship with God. I believe God is 100% hands off. But these people will invoke God because God and the use of God and the prevalent the prevalence of God is part of the tools that these internet scammers use to hook people in because you see it all the time. Someone who's been out here doing all kinds of stuff, they go to jail. Next thing you know, they turn their life over to God because they've hit rock bottom, rock bottom. So there's a lot of, you know, mention of God. And I was like, okay, cause th this is a, this is a hustler's blueprint. If you want to get a bunch of broken, desperate people into your funnel, preach God, preach God, mention God, bring all day up in God. Be talking about, you know, God has a plan for you. Just saying that, just saying that, because here's the thing, the broke and desperate refuse to accept accountability. The reason that I don't have enough money is because these folks ain't paying me. The reason I don't have enough money is because the rich folks are evil. The reason I don't have money is there's always someone else other than the person in the mirror. No accountability, none whatsoever. It's someone else's fault, which means that someone might, like God needs to save me or someone, something needs to happen. And speed, speed. Her story is she was a broke college student at 18 and she became a millionaire in 19. This also is something that attracts the broken desperate. Speed. Now, I will preach and I've consistently said you're looking at a three year journey and in his, it's like taking years to build a YouTube channel. Is not feasible? Patrick Brinkman, why isn't that feasible? Please give me a logical, mature reason why that isn't feasible because I'll tell you something. I built this, started working on this YouTube channel, August 6, 2009, August 6, September 6, October. I started making money from this YouTube channel in October. Why? Because I was an entrepreneur. I knew that there were certain things I had to do. I had to get marketing because this is something I've learned from the Craigslist protocols. Market. I had to do the marketing. I had to do the marketing. I consistently had to do the marketing. And I knew this inherently from running a business that made money. I knew this inherently from just doing business type activity. So I had an advantage when I came to YouTube because there was a lot of things I knew that I had to do to make money. I already knew this. Whereas you as an unseasoned rookie, there's so much you have to learn. I'm not saying that you're stupid or dumb. I'm not saying that at all. What I'm saying is, there's things that you just don't know. And if you're one of the people who understands that there's a learning path, because let me, let me go ahead and one of the reasons for my current level of messaging, no free courses. And one of the things is I get people literally every day in my inbox who want to speak to me. Who want to speak to me. It's like, Hey, you know, let's go to lunch or, they, they want to speak to me and you know what I do? I ignore each and every one of them in 2020. I made $3 million without speaking to anyone. Let me say that again. In 2020, I made $3 million without speaking to anyone, without going to lunch, without someone having to pick my brain. So I, from a conscious standpoint, know that I can make a lot of damn money without speaking to anyone. And this is one of the reasons that, uh, I don't do a lot of consulting. I have a consulting link up. I'm very expensive. There's a reason that I'm very expensive. The price point is a qualification. It's a qualifier. 
if you look at that price point and go, oh, hell no, this, this mofo must be out of his damn mind. You're not someone I want to speak to because the price point is a qualifier. If you look at the price and you flinch or you go, it's too much money or it's crazy, you're not my ideal client. And I don't want to talk to you. Like, again, I'm not mad at you. You don't want to pay that. You don't want to pay it. But that price point and one of the things I have learned, and this is a lesson for those of you who want to play on the online space. Cheap products get you the worst customers. Cheap products get you the worst customers. You go to my, you go to bschoolforhustlers.com, you will see a lot of very expensive stuff. Today, I've changed the, I changed the price points. Uh, the payment plan went from 150 to 250. Guess what I'm gonna do going forward? It's gonna get more expensive. You wanna know why? Because the price point is a qualifier. I want absolutely nothing to do with the broken desperate. They, you got an agenda. You want someone to come to in, hold your hand, help you, and you don't pay them. I have an agenda. I want to make as much damn money as possible. So you are the broken desperate. We're diametrically opposed. You're trying to get as much as you can for absolutely nothing. I'm trying to get as much as I can for the most money I can make. So we, we're incompatible. We shouldn't be dating. And this is why I have the messaging that I have messaging. I consistently say you're looking at a three year journey, which turns a lot of people off because this girl that I did the forensic, a deep dive analysis, because like I said, she ain't a multimillionaire. She ain't, she may make six figures a month, but she's not a multimillionaire. But here's the thing, making six figures a month gives you the money to flex like you're a millionaire. So with my messaging, I am trying to repel the broken desperate. I am trying to get rid of the broken desperate. But for some reason, some of you guys keep coming in like Patrick Brinkman. You keep coming in with first, no one's buying your courses. Really? People are buying my courses. I'm making a lot of damn money. You want to know why? I have the audacity to ask for what I feel that I'm worth. I will in a heartbeat, put it out. Like, like I said, um, I got a, the uh, coaching program that I'm working on. And at first I did it at 10,000 and I thought about it. And then I did it at 15,000 and I thought about it. That program is $20,000. I'm going to get $20,000. Am I going to get it out from the Patrick Brinkman's of the world? Hell no. Patrick don't even have 10 bucks to rub together. He don't have two nickels to rub together. I'm not going to get it from him. But once again, and I've been telling you guys, Regardless of the economy, there's always a group of people who have money. There's millionaires, there are billionaires, there are business people who have money regardless of what the economy is doing. Regardless. So for those of you out there who like to, well, I need to get into the online course business. Please do. And let me see your um, literature. Let me see your YouTube channel so I can crack jokes at your broke ass. Because see, here's the thing. It takes skill. It takes skill to do this and it takes skill to make money. Skills that you don't have with your weak, moist, well, yeah, I need to get in some more money. That's where the money, see? Like this is easy money. There are millions of course creators out there who ain't making a dime per month. You want to know why? It takes a skill set. And this is a skill set that I have developed over many, many years, Patrick Brinkman. 
When my first version of an online course was about 2013, I didn't make that much money. I, I did get some students. I got maybe 75 students and I was using Vidcaster and I was using the funky payment processor. And essentially I had like five different pieces of software and stuff that kind of worked together. And I learned from that. And then I was like, okay, we need to find an integrated system, which got me to looking. And then I found Teachable and I found Thinkific. And Thinkific by itself does what all of those five separate pieces of software were doing. This one solution does it all and it's cheaper. It's cheaper. So like I said, when in 2016, when I gave those free courses away, I wanted to help people. I wanted people to win. And there are many content creators who will come up there. It's like, Hey, I'm doing this for free. Cause I want to help you. And they get a lot of views, but here's the thing. They don't get a lot of activity because there's a classification of people. There are people who will do things and there's a classification of people who will not do things. They're just not, they won't do things. And the people who are doers are a smaller group than the people of non doers. So, the, you know, they've got, the, they're putting their hearts out, creating this content. They're trying to help people. And once again, I've done it. I put out 19 courses and every now and then I will think maybe I should do that again. Maybe I should do that again. And then I realized, and there's a little voice that says, all you're going to do is attract the broken, desperate a audience that I want nothing to do with. Because here's the problem with the broken, desperate. These are unseasoned people who want a lot out of life without giving a lot. And one of the things that I have learned, I've learned this over and over and over again, that when I sit down and I get in a lab and I work on a product, I work on creating something, the more that I put in it, the more that I get out. I've learned this over and over and over again, because in the beginning I had some stuff that, you know, I was listening to someone who's like, this guy was like, yeah, I created it. It took me two hours to create it. And I made $30,000. I tried that. It didn't work. Didn't work. And part of it is, and I'm about to say something. If you are a black content creator or a black online course creator with a black audience, your road is going to be much harder to walk than a white creator with a white audience. Um, this intellectual property school, I saw a lot of Hispanic names. I saw a lot of Asian names. So I have a audience that's a mixture. My audience may be predominantly black, but it's not all black. And that's one of the reasons that I make as much money as I do. But if my audience was hundred percent black, I would have to be what's up hustlers. I would have to do bullshit like that because that's what an all black audience likes or, you know, millionaire game. I would have to use these triggering words. And once it, that ain't me, man, that ain't me. I'm not, I'm not with all that. What up hustlers? I, I'm, I'm not with that bullshit. So once again, and we're going to get into this in the YouTube course messaging. Who do you want to attract to your YouTube channel? Now, once again, trendy topical messaging can grow your YouTube channel very fast. But what you get is a finicky audience. You get people like people who care about like, I, I have no, I have honestly, I have no clue to how many kids that Kim Kardashian has, nor do I care. I do not know what Kim Kardashian is doing. I don't keep up with the Kardashians. I have no clue, but that finicky, topical, trendy audience 
They know everything that Kim's doing. They, you know, one of the things that you have to understand is you've got to pick your lane. And once again, doing topical, trendy stuff will get you a fat YouTube channel. It will get you a lot of views. It'll get you a lot of subscribers, but it will not help you create a loyal audience. I've got literal customers who have bought everything that I've put out. And this is from the storage auction book up to now. I've got people who bought everything that I put out. You're not going to get that type of loyalty with bullshit content. It's just not. So once again, my message to the broke and desperate, you guys need to change because I'm going to tell you a story. Years and years ago, I used to be just like you. And then one day I was in that boarding house and then one day I was looking in the mirror and I can't, I had an epiphany that the reason that my ass was in that boarding house wasn't because my ex-wife was crazy mm -mm, and nothing to do with it. The reason I was in that boarding house is because I ain't had no money. I did not know how to save money at that time. So at that moment I said, you need to change. And within two weeks I had a second job that didn't pay a lot, but every penny from that second job went into my savings account. I never touched it. I didn't use it for ice cream. I didn't use it for leather jackets. That money was earmarked for my long-term emergency fund. And before calamity happened, and this is one of the reasons that I tell you, you need to establish these emergency funds, the short-term emergency fund in the family operating account before you start addressing debt is I had about 13 months of working that part-time job and making that money before I needed to access that money. And I had to spend about 1600 of it before I got another job. And that taught me a lesson. It taught me a very important lesson that things that you take time to build do not just instantly come apart because I had changed who I was. I went from a person that couldn't save no money to a person that saved almost $4,000. And thank God I did, because if I had been in that situation where I got laid off or fired from T-Mobile, I wouldn't have had no money. I would have been in a world of hurt. I would have been in the same situation that got me in the boarding house in the first place, a lack of money. So once again, if you're broke and desperate and you feel that sitting down and working hard for a long period of time with no immediate gratification ain't feasible, you're not living in the real world. There is a building right here that they've been working on since I moved here. And I've been literally seeing them day by day. They added the, the levels then they put the windows on and they're doing, and at some point this building, which is going to take many months to build, is going to be finished. See every building in your city, every house in your city took weeks and months to build. They didn't just slap it up and anything that has a firm foundation is very hard to tear apart. This is like with October, with the Anton Daniels and everybody's coming after me, I was literally under the microscope. What did they find? He's a really good businessman. I don't agree with his sexual politics, but he's a great businessman. That's what they found because I had a very firm foundation that even that bullshit could not tear apart. I want you to think about that. How many of you could go through something like that and come out untouched? Most of you couldn't. Most of you it would ruin your damn life. Me, I didn't lose a wink of sleep. I didn't lose a damn dime because I have an extremely firm foundation that took Patrick Brinkman, please listen, it took years to build. You can't just come here and tear Glendon Cameron apart from, cause it took me years to get here. 
And this is what you broken, desperate people need to learn. You need to change your ways today. Because you're in a situation where literally a flat tire is a financial crisis because you've not built yourself. You have no money. A flat tire, which is 150 to 300 bucks, is a financial crisis for many, many people. It's a damn shame. So once again, to the Patrick Brinkmans of the world, to the broken, desperate people, stop looking at what I do and trying to judge me from your unsophisticated personalities. Start looking what I've done and pay respect to what I've built because this ain't easy. Took a lot of time, a lot of hard work, a lot of effort. And if you start duplicating that and start working hard, because I saw a video made by a lesbian that was talking about toxic masculinity and how Kevin Samuels advocating that men should be working 60 hours a week and how that was wrong. And it's like, you should, because he, here's the thing. Like I'm in the position that I can take off and take a vacation whenever I want. I'm in that position. How do you get in that position? By working hard and working hard. And she was just talking about, you know, that was just too much. See, America has gotten extremely soft that actually working 60 hours a week is considered uh, hostile. It's intolerable. I saw a report that was like that billionaires have stole it because if people were getting equal distribution of the money that they helped generate, that they would be making twice as much money as they make and be working a three day work week. Uh, that ain't gonna never happen. It ain't gonna never happen. I was just like, Oh, okay. So once again, I am trying to get as far away possible from the broken desperate because these people do not have the attributes or the personality traits to be successful. They just don't because they're looking for instant gratification in everything they do. Because remember this commercial, it was, uh, I think it was, it was an insurance commercial, but it was a black guy who was a fat guy and he got on the treadmill for like three minutes and he wanted to see results in three minutes. That's how many of you are. You want to do something for a hot minute and see results. You're looking at a person who sat down day after day, day after day, and wrote a book. Wrote a book. Took me three months to write a book. Every day, woke, woke up, typing words on the page, typing words on the page. That's how you be successful. Every day, sitting your ass in the chair and showing up. Not every day, working hard for one hour and expecting miracles. That's ludicrous. That's crazy. But once again, if you're a member of the Broken Desperate, guess who buys the most lottery tickets? The Broken Desperate. Um, there was someone, because you know the lottery is like a billion dollars and someone's literally spent millions of dollars buying lottery tickets. Because if they hit, they're gonna be all right. But you can literally spend millions of dollars on lottery tickets and not even get close to winning. And that's the purview of the broke and desperate. That is the purview because these are the activities. These are the things that the broken desperate do. They're all about that quick buck, that quick hustle. They're not about sustained delayed gratification. So that's who I am making my content for people who understand that to be successful, takes work, time, and applied effort without an immediate result. That's what I'm aiming for. So below, uh, once again, there's going to be a lot of stuff that's going to be happening this month. 
You can still get into the intellectual property school. You just can't get in as cheap as you could have got in last month. And you can still get in other things. And once again, the coaching program, that's going to be for rock stars. If you've not started a business that's making you enough money where you cannot afford $20,000, we ain't working together. Like I said, every day in my email box, I get messages from people who want to talk, who just want to hop on the phone and chop it up, just chop it up. And I'm like, I'm going to ignore you. I'm going to ignore you because I am not getting on the phone and I'll talk to you for hours for free. Make that that does nothing for me. It doesn't make me horny. <laughs> Don't make me horny at all. Actually, it actually turns me off to be factual. Be like, wonk, 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 wonk. So, yeah, to the broken, desperate people, if you don't change your ways, let me tell you what your future is going to be like. Ten years from the day, you're going to be in the same damn spot that you are in today. Except you'll be older. That's what your future is going to be. You're going to be in the same house or same apartment or the same car or the same level ten years in the future. And 20 years in the future, guess what? It's going to be more of the same. More of the same. Except you're going to be really old. Like if you're 35 years old and you're part of the Broken Desperate crew, I can predict with stunning accuracy that you're going to be a broke 65 year old. That you're going to have to rely on your family or children to make it because you're going to be broke. You ain't going to have no money. Because your behaviors your habits and behaviors will lead you to that path. I'll be 65 and I'll be eating steak and driving the Porsche. And if you don't like the fact that I said that, fuck you with your weak, moist ass. Because the truth hurts. Yeah, I'm going to be eating steak, driving the Porsche, having sex with a woman 20 years younger than me. Yep, that's, that's, that's my future at 65. Hey, up in your face, up in your face, man. So everything that was available last month is available this month. It's just a little bit more expensive, but you can get it in the first comment or the links below. Plus there will be some more stuff. And oh, for everyone who bought things last month, there's going to be some new additional training and you're going to be able to get this super cheap super cheap and once again the people who bought the corporate papers the people who bought uh, corporate toolbox are going to get access to the new consulting program except for the consults the consults you're going to get a di discount for that but you will have access to that once again i bless those who have blessed me if you get into the gc ecosystem you get benefits, you get perks, you get all kinds of swag and stuff. So, links below.